Hi, we are here again to start a new lesson about word processing software. Let's start. For the content standard, the students should be able to demonstrate an understanding of using productivity software. For the performance standard, the learners should be able to perform the utilization of productivity tools in a safe and responsible manner. For the learning competencies, the learners shall be able to create MS Word documents with page breaks, auto tables of contents, mail merge, and references. At the end of the lesson, the learners shall be able to familiarize with the different icons and commands while working on Word documents. Create Word documents with page breaks, auto table of contents, mail merge, and references. Before we start our lesson, let us discover new words by answering the picture puzzle. Good job! It is page break. What do you think is the word? Correct! The word is table of content. Next, what do you think is the word? Correct! The word is mail merge. Let us uncover the meaning of the words while we are having our discussions. Word processing software. Word processing software such as Microsoft Word is a fundamental tool for creating, editing, and formatting text-based documents. Its user-friendly interface will make it an essential tool for individuals, students, and professionals worldwide. One of Word feature is the page break. A page break in Microsoft Word is a feature that allows you to end the current page and start a new one. This is particularly useful when you want to separate sections of a document, ensuring that content starts on a new page. Page breaks are essential for controlling the layout of documents, ensuring content flows smoothly onto the next page. Next is Auto Table of Contents. Automatic tables of contents simplify document navigation by generating an index of headings, subheadings, and page numbers. This makes it easy for readers to navigate through long documents. The Table of Contents talk is dynamic, meaning it can be updated automatically when you add or modify headings in your document. Another is Mail Merge. Mail Merge in Microsoft Word is a powerful feature that allows you to create a batch of documents that are personalized for each recipient. It's commonly used for generating form letters, labels, envelopes, and emails where the content is mostly the same, but certain sections like names, addresses, or other specific details are customized for each recipient. Here are the components of Mail Merge. Main Document. This is the template that contains the general content of the document, with placeholders called Merge Fields for the personalized data. Data Source. This is where the personalized information is stored, typically in a list or table format. Merge Fields. These are placeholders in the main document that correspond to the columns in the data source. Now, let us have the video demonstration on how to apply page break, table of contents and mail merge. Hi, here's how to insert page break. First, position your cursor where you want to put your page break. Then click on the layout tab, then choose breaks, then choose page. You will see your cursor appear on the next page and you're done.
Inserting heading and auto table of contents. First, who have to make sure that your document is ready. You already have your pages and page titles. Next, we have to convert our page title to heading format. All you have to do is click the Home tab then click Styles, then choose Headings. Apply the heading style to all page titles you have in your document. Then, position your cursor where you want your table of contents to appear. Click the References tab, click the table of contents and choose Automatic Table 1 or 2. There you have your ready-made table of contents. How to Merge Documents First, click Mailings tab, click Start Mail Merge, then click the Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge, then, Mail Merge Wizard will appear. Click Starting Document. Click Select Recipient, then click Browse. Look for your Excel file where the list of names you will use is stored. Click OK, then click OK again. Next, click on the area where you want the names for your certificate to appear. Click on Insert Merge Field, then choose Name. You can adjust the font formats like size and style according to your preference. Now, click on Mailings tab again then preview the results. Click the Finish and Merge button then choose Edit Individual Documents. Click OK then your certificates are generated for you. You can save your file according to your chosen file name. Now, let us answer the following questions. 1. Darlene wants to submit a poem with 5 to 8 stanzas. What is the best Microsoft application she needs? A. Facebook account. B. Instagram account. C. Microsoft Word. D. PowerPoint presentation. Good job! The answer is letter C. Microsoft Word. Two, Ave Rail is encoding a series of paragraphs. Then he notices that the alignment of his paragraph is irregular. In the ribbon, what command does he need to click? A. File B. Home tab. C. Insert D. Layout. Correct. It's letter B. Home tab. 
3. What is a powerful feature in a word processing program that allows users to create multiple documents such as letters or emails with unique information for each recipient? A. Mail merge B. Page breaks C. References D. Few That's right. It's A. Mail merge Or, which of the following icons represent Microsoft Word? Good job! It's letter D. For our additional activity, create a simple certificate, then list at least 10 names that you can use for your certificate use Excel file. Apply Mail Merge to your document to create multiple certificates.